Hi everyone, it's Sochin again and I'm back with another video today. So today's video, we're going to be focusing more on spinal mobility. So this exercise, it will be good for those of you who are having any back pain, whether it is your lower back or your upper back. It is also good for those of you who have very stiff back, especially those of you who are getting out of bed feeling very stiff each day. So this set of exercises that I'll show you later on, it will be very good for you to loosen up the spine a little bit and also to give some movements, whether it is the twisting motions, whether it is bending or extending through the back. So there will be two set of exercises here and I'll be showing you the first one first. So what you have to do is come up into your fourth point. So just adjusting yourself first, you can curl your toes in like this with your shoulders make sure they are above the wrist with the hips make sure it's above the knees so you want to make sure you're not shifting forward like this you're always sitting nice and in this four point so from here this is your first exercise which is your cat and cows so inhale first as you exhale start to drop your belly down towards the floor starting to arch the lower back and bring your bum up towards the ceiling forward by your upper back and open up the chest look forward with your head so inhale first once you reach forward as you exhale start to round the pelvis in bring the bum inwards draw the belly away from the floor round your upper back in look down towards your belly button so you make this rounding motion here so inhale first, as you exhale, starting to repeat the motion again. Going one spinal segment at a time. So you want to focus on moving one bone at a time, if you can. Don't have to rush with this one, just go at your own pace. Alright, let's do one more here. Okay, let's come back to the center, flatten your back, keep a neutral spine. So from here, let's take the left hand off from the floor. What you're going to do is round it in over the under of your opposite arm here. Round and twist the whole of your back in as much as you can. And as you open it up towards the opposite side, open through the chest, twist as much as you can. Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. Inhale, rounding again. Exhale, twist and open through the chest. One more here. Exhale, twist and reach your fingers as high as you can. And from here, drop that hand down. So from here, let's repeat it on the other side. Inhale as you round in, twist as much as you can. And bring open and stretch to the front of your chest. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. One more here. Inhale, round. Exhale, twist. Alright, hand back onto the floor and you can have a quick rest. So from here, that's the first half of the exercise. The second half of the exercise, we're still doing the cat and cows, but we're going to do it in a different position. So instead of doing it on your four points, we're going to come up to sit on our heels here in our low kneeling position. So from here, hands in front of your knees here slightly and from here make sure you're not giving too much pressure on your wrist you want to keep just a slight of a touch on the floor so this time instead of focusing on the whole of your spine you're going to be focusing more on the thoracic spine which is only up to this much so keep the bump down just keep it grounded don't have to move through the lumbar spine so from here, starting to inhale first, as you exhale, doing the same motion, round, arch the upper back out, open through the chest, look upwards, inhale at the top, 
exhale, round everything in. Look to your belly button. So if you look through my spine now, you'll notice that I'm focusing more on getting the movements through my upper back rather than the whole of my spine. So this is very important for a lot of you who have very stiff upper back. Let's do another two more here. And one. Alright, come back to the center, keep a flat back, find your neutral spine again. So from here, we're going to get the left hand to place behind of the head. So from here, think of opening and twisting through the upper back this time as you twist open through the chest. Round, touch the elbow towards the opposite elbow. One more here. And place it down. We repeat on the other side. And again, the head, inhale. Going round. Exhale, open. Alright, one more last one, three. Hands back down. Alright, so that's the end of the exercise for today. Okay, so for while you're doing it, you might have felt that one side is tighter than the other. That's normal. So what you have to do is just doing one more extra set on the tighter side. So after doing these exercises, check again with your motions. You should feel a little bit more looser. So what you can do with this is do it consistently every day, either once at least or twice per day. All right, so that's the end of the exercise for today. Thank you for watching.